Hello there and welcome to another Coffee with Column and thank you for joining me. Just back from my annual pilgrimage to the Pendulum Summit in Dublin. And so over the next few Coffees with Column, I'm going to share some snippets. Now, don't take that as an excuse for not attending. You really need to be there with a wonderful group with us uh, under the Colin Brown Motivation family this year. Anyway, one of the speakers, the very first speaker of the event was a guy called Eric Val, W-A-H-L. And he's an American graffiti artist, and to say he blew me away is an understatement. Guy's a genius, right? He was talking about creativity. And to music and to video, while he was talking to us, he also painted three wonderful paintings. One of Bono, which some lucky person in the audience managed to win. Uh, one of John Lennon and one of Albert Einstein. And it was truly mesmerizing. But uh, he was talking about creativity and he was talking about imagination and how do we tap into both. And he spoke of a phrase, he used a phrase called dream doer, dream doer. You see, there are dreamers in this world and there are doers in this world. And what Eric Valle is suggesting is we need to be both. We need to be dreamers and doers all at the same time. And that picture that he drew of John Lennon was just amazing. And of course, you know, John Lennon's uh, song, Imagine, that was playing in the background as he, as he did that. It was sung by a uh, sort of a parade of celebrities uh, against some fabulous imagery. And I heard somebody say that we were lucky to witness it. And it would appear that we were, but we weren't really lucky to witness it. Uh, we witnessed it because we did something about it. I had some people saying you were lucky to be there. I wasn't lucky to be there. I did something about it. I am a dreamer, but I'm also a doer. And you need to be a dreamer and you need to be a doer too. We've got to take action. Otherwise, our dreams just waste away. I met a man some time back and I asked him what he did. And he told me he was a writer. And I said, great, great. What are you writing? What have you written? And he said, uh, nothing. <laughs> I said, excuse me? He said, uh, nothing. And I said, but you said you're a writer. He said, I'm a writer, all right, yeah, yeah. Um, I've got all these ideas going around in my head, but he says, I'm not ready to start putting it on paper yet. Said, the guy isn't a writer, right? He's a thinker, if anything, but he's not a writer. He's dreaming about uh, writing a book or writing something, but he's not doing anything about it. So you can dream all you like, but unless you're a dream doer, it's not going to happen. Those of us that were fortunate enough to witness Eric Val, we did three things to make that happen. First of all, we had a dream that we wanted to be better in some aspect of our life. The second thing is we bought a ticket to Pendulum. And then the third thing is we turned up. How many of you out there know somebody who's bought a gym membership as a New Year's resolution? Well, that's great, right? But it's only great if they uh, actually turn up and do something with it. You know, no point in buying a gym membership and then turning up three times in the year and then uh, giving out this time next year that you haven't got the Adonis-like body uh, that you were hoping for. It doesn't work like that. You got to dream something, you got to take steps towards it, and then you got to take action and massive action to make something happen in your life. And because we're at the start of the year, that's what I'm uh, trying to get across to you for 2019. Please be a dream doer this year. Dream, get creative. Decide how you'd like life to look this time next year and then do something about it. Take steps towards it. Heading into 2018, I'm quite sure you had a vision of uh, how you would like your life to look now as we enter 2019. And the question is, is it any different? Did you make improvements in 2018? The four areas of your life that need work, health, wealth, relationships and spirit. Pick one. Pick one now for 2019. Make it your mission to fix one area of your life in 2019. If you fix one area in 2019, you can fix another in 2020, another 21, another 22. In four years from now, 48 short, short months from now, you could be starting the rest of your life as the best of your life, but only if you're a dream doer. So I'm going to ask the big rock and the one thing question. The big rock is which of those four things, health, wealth, relationships, or spirit needs most work for you now? You know which it is. Pick one of them, right? And let it be your mission for this year. And then the next question is, what one thing could you do about that big rock around that aspect of your life? What one thing could you do this week that would have the biggest positive impact on that big rock? And then simply go do it. And thank you for joining me today. Make next week count, and I'll see you here this time next week for another Coffee with Colin. Slaunch it. I really love great coffee. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.